a more heart-wrenching testimony in the sex abuse trial of former Penn State assistant football coach Jerry Sandusky. The grand jury report is filled with details from each accuser alleging how and when Sandusky allegedly victimized them. The former Penn State assistant football coach is charged with sexually abusing 10 boys over a 15-year period, faces 52 counts. The report details accusations that Sandusky would take his hands and place them on their thighs as they were driving in the car, that he would tickle them and blow on their stomachs at bedtime, would shower naked with them, and would rape them. Disturbing graphic day in court. Three young victims describe their alleged sexual abuse torment at the hands of famous Penn State assistant coach Jerry Sandusky. Sandusky charged with 52 charges of abuse of 10 boys over 15 years today in court. Unbelievable. He faced victims number 10, 7, 5. These young men describing years of sick abuse and sick rituals that he used when they were boys before allegedly attacking them. One accuser said Sandusky threatened, quote, that if anybody were told he would never see his family again. I would never see my family again if I spoke of what was going on. Imagine that to a little boy. The jurors finally listening to the interview Jerry Sandusky gave right after he was arrested when he admitted to coursing around and showering with boys. This from NBC. I have horsed around with kids. I, I have showered after workouts. I, I have hugged them and I've, I have touched their leg without intent of sexual contact. I always thought that was so creepy. And uh, Beth Karras, in session correspondent, you were in court today. I understand that some of the jurors, when they heard some of Sandusky's comments, seemed quite creeped out as well. Let me tell you, Jane, when that was played, we saw just some still photos on the screen. You didn't see the video that we watch when we play it because it was kind of meaningless. It was the audio that was played for the jury. One of the men on the jury, an older man who sort of had a Mr. Rogers look, he had a little red cardigan on and a white shirt, sat with his arms crossed in a very hostile position over his chest like that, listening. And then as soon as the tape was over, arms were uncrossed and he was taking notes. Now you know, interpret what you want from that, but it is a hostile position and it was not, you know, it, it was compelling what we were listening to and presumably these jurors are hearing it for the first time. It wasn't particularly helpful to Sandusky to hear him faltering while he's answering that question, are you sexually attracted to boys? One would expect if he's not to say, no, they're misinterpreting uh, the good things I was doing for them. No, instead it well, was like, am I sexually attracted in the pauses that we hear and have heard over yeah. and over? Well, Rachel Bell, forensic clinical therapist, author of Sexual Obsessions Gone Wrong, doesn't that dovetail with the whole idea that people who are, and I'm not convicting him, uh, he's going to be judged by a jury of his so-called peers, half of whom have connections to Penn State, by the way. But um, isn't that the way pedophiles in general think that they aren't doing anything wrong? That's why they have a man-boy love association where they basically regard this as an alternate lifestyle. That's correct, Jane. Um, A lot of them believe that, you know, if it feels good, it can't be wrong, which we know is, you know, not true. Um, I think what you're seeing here is also, you know, you had brought up earlier about the blowing on the stomach, which I found very interesting. This is typical um, ritualistic behavior. Ritualistic behavior is related to OCD, which has been linked with pedophilic behavior. So I also found that interesting during the testimony. Well, let me explain what you're talking about. Uh, Some of the victims, the alleged victims, testified that Jerry Sandusky, the uh, white-haired guy you're looking at there, had rituals that he would use before these alleged attacks, which were very graphic. In fact, one boy who's not even uh, 11 testified that he didn't understand that Jerry was aroused because he was too young to know the facts of life. But apparently he allegedly blew, blew on their stomachs and made them wear mesh shorts. Why do you think, Rachel, those particular rituals? Okay, well, you know, it's really unclear. I can't tell you what he was thinking at the moment. But what is what he what the behavior he was showing was indicative of grooming behavior, which is also typical of pedophilic be, you know, pedophiles. He clearly was using a lot of coercion, manipulative behaviors. I mean, classic textbook pedophile-like behavior, which is definitely going to work against him. 
Well, I I'm just sorry. I just think about some of these things, and it just upsets me so much. I think the blowing on the stomach is a way of trying to reassure. This is what parents do to kids. They blow on their little belly buttons. And I think that was his way of trying to seduce the kids and thinking, oh, I'm a parental figure. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just going to, oh, treat you like a little child.